Hello! Today, I'm going to go over the build of the NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. I am very excited about this. I have been um, collecting a lot of the LEGO NASA sets and the space sets since the late 90s, early 2000s. And when they started coming out with new ones in the last year or so, I was super excited about this. So, this one is very big. Again, very large set. My box has a little bit of an owie, but that's okay. I'm completely okay with that because I'm going to be opening up and building it anyway. But I keep the boxes, but if it has a little dinkle in it, it's not going to phase me too much. Uh, this is set number 10283. This is 2,354 pieces. Uh, this, again, like the one of the other ones I've done before, this is probably going to be about a 10-hour build. But first, let's go over what's inside. Uh, again, great diagrams on the back. And so let's uh, let's open this guy up and see what we have. All right, time for the grand unboxing. Uh, and again, I use scissors. I, I cut I cut them on the tape here. Uh, you know, if you are younger, please be careful while using scissors to open up your sets. Dangerous. Um. Or have somebody help you. I don't usually peel off the stickers because it kind of rips the boxes up, so I don't do that too much. But all right, let's see what we got. Inside. Oh boy, I'm already liking the amount of bricks I'm seeing in bags here. Ready? Oh, oh look, another box within a box. One of my favorite things. Again, according to cats, the favorite part of anything is the box anyway. So you know, that makes it exciting. All right, three more. 15, 16, 15, 16. The large miscellaneous pieces. Those are always great. Oh, neat. Pre-printed. Always a bargain. All right. So this looks like it's 10 through 16 in that one. Let's go into box number two. Very, very exciting. So much fun. I like unboxing. I think, I think it's, I think it's fun. Relaxing in a weird kind of way. All right, box number two. But well, first, let's pull this guy out. And you done the instruction manual. Very large. I'm seeing stickers, which is fine. Um, I know in some cases you have to put on stickers. Be really careful with them. I usually use a brick breaker. Sometimes I use tweezers, but I usually could use the brick breaker to put on the scissors or put on the stickers pretty well. There's another thing in here. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. I think we're good now. All right, and there seems to be only about one one bag per number, believe it or not. Um, it goes up to 16, so with the, the miscellaneous ones, it looks like there's probably 18 or 19 bags with that one. So we're in good shape. All right, let's start building. I'm excited.
Okay, as you can see, I am done with the shuttle's discovery here. Uh, it actually didn't take me as long as I thought. It was probably less than seven and a half hours to build the whole thing. However, I don't think I've actually messed up this many times building a set until I started putting this together. So you have to pay close attention to certain things. And I'll tell you where, where I got um, messed up a bunch. First of all, um, when putting together the nose piece, uh, there are, um, there's sort of like a mechanism that you have to put together in order to build onto it. And I had a couple pieces off or I had them twisted in the wrong place. So it built it sideways. So just be careful when you're putting together the main part of the first part of the nose piece over in here. I also had originally lined up, uh, on the, on the fins over here, actually these pieces on the first start set, I had a wrong row off. And then I had to move them all. And I actually left all of that in the video. I'm going to have it, you know, it's, it's time lapse. But you can see where I was using the brick breaker. And I had multiple ones out here uh, where I had to take it apart and put different pieces back together. Uh, another part, which, again, I understand the need to have to put on the stickers yourself. There was page of stickers like this. Um, there was another smaller page of stickers, just a few decals and stuff. It really wasn't that bad. And then this was actually the parts of, uh, they're just a plastic piece that you put right on here. These popped right off really easily. They slid off, no big deal. Uh, and they were able to attach on to the satellite without any problems at all. However, these stickers, these Mylar stickers were giving me a really hard time. But there is a little bit of a trick to it which may help you. When you're putting these on, uh, you're actually going to, like this is, this is actually the way they have you set it. This is in a way the top and then this is the bottom. And there is some text printed, it's actually raised text right underneath the lip of this. And if you put the edge of the sticker right above that text and then make sure that you have it lined up, you know, left and right along the middle, then you can pretty much just slide it right on there without much of a problem. But you still have to be pretty careful about it. And I did wait until I wanted to make sure I had it lined up before I lifted my finger off and pushed it down completely. And I will tell you right now, they aren't perfect, but honestly, it's really hard to tell um, that they're not completely lined up perfectly because it sort of blends in so well that it, it's just really hard to tell. And it's not really anything that you would notice unless you're super staring at it. So, um, so really, that wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, but those are kind of the big, any of the gotchas that I had when I was building this. So you just have to pay attention to some of the alignment on these, especially with the angles and when building the nose cone. Now, this thing ends up being a lot bigger than I thought. So I brought some stuff out here for comparison purposes. First of all, this is one of the three-in-one uh, sets that had the smaller version of the shuttle. So just to give you an idea, you know, this one could actually go piggyback off of this and go for a ride uh, on, this, on the smaller one over in here. It's actually almost the size of the satellite, which is kind of crazy. This here, of course, is spaceship, spaceship, spaceship! So. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. It is almost literally the same length, just about, as spaceship, spaceship, spaceship which is sort of fun. Uh, but uh, if you do have this set, uh, just to give you an idea, that's about the size of what this one is. Uh, in comparison to, to the rocket, I'm going to do this as carefully as possible. Of course, this rocket set is gigantic, but here's an idea too, size-wise, right? This is where you're looking at size comparison. When it comes to diameter, it's almost about the same of uh, the rocket, in case you have that one. So, just if you're looking for some sort of comparisons there of how this works. Uh, cool. There is a couple features I wanted to mention before I get going into other things. Uh, first of all, is you have the wheels. Landing gear. Landing gear actually comes up and down very easily. So you could set it. Go it around. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, so, uh, you can just pop it on and off. Really easy. They're actually spring-loaded. Eh? It has the spring-loaded, uh, Lego pieces on there. So they fit in there nicely and they'll pop back it up and they'll... Another thing is, uh, the aileron. You can actually twist one of the engines back here to make the aileron. I think that's also... Uh, another thing is satellites. Uh, of course, got pieces. All of the solar panels move and you can move around the configuration. Also open and close it on here too, which is always nice. So lots of movable parts, extra features, extra pieces, and extra base plate. 
So uh, that will also be a sort of fun little add-ons that they have in here, which make it really, really interesting. Uh, cool things about this, though, too. This is made so things can come apart pretty easily, right? I can take the part, uh, the top off here, so you have your, your module. You have your command center in there, which could pop off. You can see the seats and everything inside. Uh, of course, double bay doors open up, and the arm lifts up and down. Uh, another thing which is actually very cool about both of uh, the, the satellite and the shuttle is they're on bases that easily come on and off. I'm going to flip this over upside down. There's actually these two little notches over in here. And this fits in there very nicely. So that's always very cool of a feature where you can easily just line that right up and put it right back on there <coughs> without any problems at all. So that's very cool. Um, same thing with the satellite base. It's got these little notches right here and they fit right into these little holes. And so it's very easy if you want to take it off and you play with it and put it in here. Uh, there is some uh, configuration you would need to do. Actually, I'm not going to put that back on yet. Um, you can put the satellite inside the shuttle, which is very cool. And you can even set it up so they have the little arm configuration on there. You do have to remove some pieces, though, first. Um, I recommend holding on to the ends of these right here, like pinchy pinchy, when you go to pull off the, uh, the solar panels. Because if not, you will rip these things apart because they've got a nice grip to them. That, you know, that just goes to the quality of Lego, though, right there. Um, you also need to take off this guy right there, this piece in order to put it on top of this uh, another base piece that you actually build along the way. And what this is to do, this is designed so you put this in here and you can raise up the arm and set this right into the shuttle bay, just like this, right? And then you can have it so that you're moving your bay around and you're actually doing the stuff and you're, you're building the, you know, the shuttle, you're getting it out of the docking bay and you're putting it out into outer space and it's very very cool there's also little arms you put on here like these are the ones of the pre the you know the pre-satellite arms you put on there so there's little accessories of uh the kit configuration before and after you have unfurled the solar panels onto here and of course there's display plates for both of them so you can put them as part of your collection whenever you want so in general though this is very neat very very neat just you know i would be cautious of some of the areas of the instructions um, you have to pay attention because um, you'll end up just taking it apart and building it again, which honestly is kind of part of the fun of most of these sets anyway. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for watching.